this video we will see how to filter in the details after choosing a report and how to hide or show the columns that needs to be viewed in the report and also we will see how to enable the removed column in the menu search option type the desired report's name choose the report and click enter again here in the date filter option you can either filter the reports using number of the days or months or you can choose to enter the from date and to date in order to view the reports in that particular date in number of days if you click to you will be able to see the report for the last two days click enter and the cursor will stop in the month option in the month option you can view the report after choosing the particular month if you want to view the details for a particular month or if you choose to give from date and to date click enter again and the cursor will stop in the from option where you can give the date click enter again and it will stop in the to option give the to date and press f2 here you can again filter based on these details as well say if i want to filter reports using the user details or say for a particular user i want to view the report then place the cursor in the user details and click enter here use space bar for multi selecting click enter now you can press f2 or apply directly so as to filter the reports now you will be able to view the reports based on the date you have given now we will see how to hide the unwanted columns click f4 or go to view option here go to column operation here click column hide or show now you can disable the unwanted columns by just disabling it with your mouse click and click okay now i have enabled only the desired columns that i need and disable the unwanted columns in the column hide or show option now if you want the same settings to remain even the next time when you open the same report go to the f4 option again and then click on save current setting now let's see how to remove a column and in particular also how to enable the already removed column if in case you don't find a column name in the column hide or show option then you can be sure that it is already removed so you can directly go to the enable remove column option where you can enable the already removed column let's see how to remove a column and also let's see how to enable the already removed column click on f4 go to column operations click on column remove here say i am going to remove bill number column uncheck the columns to remove click okay now if in case i am searching for bill number column it will not be there go to the f4 option again go to column properties 
click on enable remove column here you can see the column which we removed now in the place of no type yes and press enter click ok now you can see the bill number column is again visible now go to f4 option and click on save current settings 